something better be have was doing a strange little well, well not strange but everybody's everybody's talking about it. it's kind of gone viral on the internet he's doing push-ups and he's bouncing from his from his fingers onto his knuckles onto his back of his wrists which which to be honest i've never done them bounced onto the back of the wrist but i used to do the knuckles and the finger presses it basically strengthens your tendons strengthens all your ligaments in your hands and obviously you need solid hands and ligaments when you're boxing because they get injured but i don't know why this has gone so big and so viral. The Cobra used to do them for breakfast. It's no big deal. And there is my main man, Carl the Cobra Frotch, stating that why is everybody making a big deal out of Artur Betterbeev? I did that 10 years ago. What's the big deal? I never did it on my wrist or whatever, but I definitely strengthened my hands with the fingertips and the fists. So what's the deal? Let me counterpunch. <laughs> People, first of all, uh, this is out of context. This is, was from a short that he did. So shorts, you can look at it any way you want, but based on the information from the short, it would come off yet again that Carl Frotch uh, is bitter about the notoriety and attention of others. You know? That's what I notice. Um, I think this is what we should do. And everybody that likes and supports Carl Frotch should do for Carl Frotch. Give Carl Frotch his flowers each and every time you see Carl Frotch. Because I think Carl Frotch sometimes feels like he was overlooked or underappreciated based on the time frame that he did fight. Now, I'm sure that Carl Frotch would have done very well this day and age. Would he have beaten everybody? Probably not. But he would have made his mark whatever uh, era he was in, right? And uh, I think that's the important thing. And I think what bothers him is uh, he doesn't see why things go viral like they are. Well, for one thing, uh, he did more than just the fists and the fingertips. He did the wrist to strengthen the wrist, and that may give him that power on top of doing like a Chris Brown um, stomp the yard handstand or, or elbow stand, right? And that was very impressive also for being 39 years of age. That shows you that he is disciplined, and it shows me that Artur Better Be Ev ain't going nowhere. You see what I mean? I think this is just him showing how, you know, uh, good and in shape physically and mentally and spiritually he really is, you know, and the major thing, Carl, okay, <laughs> this is for Carl, the Cobra. You were in another era. You, Andre Ward, um, the Italian dragon, right? Um, all you guys were back 10 years plus years ago when you fought, okay? Keep that in mind. And things weren't as evolved as it is now, as far as media goes. They had media, they had Facebook, they had a lot of things like they have now. But things going viral these days are more so the interest of what people find fascinating. It's a different venue. It's a different time. It's a different audience. And unfortunately, the audience of today, you didn't see you do what you did or similar to what you did. That's why I said, people, please give Carl Frotch his props because I think Carl Frotch is a person that wants to be notarized. He wants to be noticed. He wants to be remembered. He wants to be appreciated. I know a lot of people like that. You know what I mean? And he's like, look, I did that. It ain't, that ain't no big deal. But it just seems like he doesn't like how other people get attention for something that he's already done. Like, dude, I did that long time ago. That ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Now, it may come off like he's hating a bit, but I think it also comes off like if you were the person that did it, you probably would say that. But I think it's the character or the mindset you have to remember. Like, look, this is this guy's time. And it's amazing how people of this time are fascinated with something that you've already done. And I think that's not to attack the person. I think it's the, the fact to attack the people that find interest in something you've already done. I think Carl Frotch should have had some footage of himself doing that to show like, look, this is no big deal. We of yesteryear, the legends, 
that have came, been, and went have also did that. You know, in fact, I think I did it a little better. Check it. That's what Carl should do. You know what I mean? Like, look, I've done that. I was the first to break the record at Wembley. You know what I mean? Those type of things. Even though people see that it's coming off petty, it may be a little petty. But at the same time, you know, Carl wants his flowers. So by God, give it to him. But back to Better BF, it is impressive when I've seen him, especially when I've seen him do that handstand. It shows you that he has upper body strength. That's what it shows me. And if Carl did and implemented the kind of broke wrist kind of thing, I wouldn't do it, me personally, you know, <laughs> but that gives him power. He made a, he might have been, um, even though he was a good puncher and had a good chin, he might have been that much more powerful if he would have implemented something that he's never seen before. But of course, he came before our tour, Better Be Ev, so Better Be Ev might have um, improved that method. But who knows? You guys tell me what you think of Carl Frotch counterpunching our tour better be give. Why is he so popular? Why is this viral? I've already been there and done that. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Hey.